All right, uh, let's try to find the Laplace transform of nth derivative of f of t, uh, which is this uh, long formula here. All right, so before we get started, I'm going to assume that uh, we have already established the Laplace transform of f prime of t is equal to s times Laplace transform of f of t minus f of 0. All right. So uh, uh, I'm going to put the link in the description for the proof of this statement. So if you are interested, uh, please check it out. All right, so uh, let's start with uh, Laplace transform of f double prime of t. All right, since f double prime is the first derivative of f prime, we can apply the same formula above. We can get s times Laplace transform of f prime of t minus f prime of zero. But we notice that, that we can replace uh, you know, Laplace transform of f prime of t by the expression above in blue. So by doing that, we get s squared Laplace transform of f of t minus s times f of zero minus f prime of zero. All right? How about the Laplace transform f triple prime of t? All right? But the f triple prime is the first derivative of f double prime. We know that the, we can rewrite it as s times Laplace transform of f double prime of t minus f double prime of zero. All right? But you can see that the here Laplace transform of f double prime of t is the uh, the same expression uh, right above in purple. So by replacing it. We know that uh, we get uh, s cubed times the plus transform of f of t minus s squared times f of 0 minus s times f prime of 0 minus f double prime of 0. All right. So here we try to uh, recognize the pattern. Looks like uh, here if it's the third derivative, you're going to start with s cubed. And it goes down one by one, s squared, s, and then 1. Right. Then very first one is always the Laplace transform of f of t. And all the other one has a negative sign. Then we're going to start with f of 0. Next one is f prime of 0. f double prime of 0. Right. And uh, notice that the here, if it's the uh, f triple prime, last one is the f double prime. So it's one less derivative. Right. So I'm going to see the pattern here. All right, how about the nth derivative? So it's going to start with s to the nth power, Laplace transform of f of t, right? Then go down one by one, and last term is going to be minus uh, n minus first derivative of f of 0, So which looks like this, right? So you can see that the here, you're going to start with s to the nth power, and it go down one by one. Right, and then you get one. Right, so you always have a Laplace transform of f of t here, and then uh, all these guys have a negative sign in front. Then you start out with uh, f of zero, f prime of zero. So next one it's not written there, but f double prime of zero, and so on. Then the last one is uh, n minus first derivative of f of zero. Right which is the formula, exact formula up here. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.